want to run. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Phoenix. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Stephen Curry. We love to see this kind of leadership. Directing traffic, keeping everyone happy. He was the straw that stirred the drink. They've got Howard. And it's Dort in at the two-guard spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Rudy Gaze checked in for Dwight Howard. Second free throw, no good. And here's Marshall to bring it up for Vancouver. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Always working to find open territory. Canard's lethal in catch and shoot. And Phoenix has possession. So it's the Suns winning easily here. Everyone, here it is at long last. It's the start of the NBA regular season. I know everyone's just as excited as we are here on 2K Sports to get things underway. Hi, folks. Brian Anderson here alongside two fantastic analysts, Grant Hill and Brent Berry at the table, and our reporter, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, you may have noticed that. All right, Allie, thanks. And a look now at the Milwaukee Bucks' upcoming schedule. On Friday, they'll head home to take on the Los Angeles Clippers. And then Monday, they'll be playing against James Harden. And for Milwaukee, Ben Simmons is out there with Tyler Hero. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then there's Blake Griffin. The kick out to Simmons. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And the free throw, no good. New York trailing. Here's Frazier. Milwaukee with the rebound. Simmons has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Griffin, a screen on McGee. On the attack, Embiid. Got it. Embiid's got four points now in the quarter. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. McGee with it. No good from outside. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Simmons, the pass to Griffin. And here's Embiid. Pass to Simmons. Griffin with it. Shot clock at five. Over Kuzma. It's deflected. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The Knicks shooting right around 40% since the beginning of the fourth quarter. Into the lane. Shot from 12. That shot, no good. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Here's Embiid. Count it. 
Embiid's got 16 points here in the second half. Well, Grant, we've seen these players take a bigger stand and have a bigger voice now in helping shape public policy, and you yourself have been a part of that. Talk about what that's meant to you and the importance of making your voice heard. Yeah, B.A., it's been so important to me. I've tried to live my adult life, my public life, you know, exercising NBA bubble in Orlando. It really speaks of how today's players have evolved into more than just an athlete. Pass to Embiid. To the wing on the left. Tries it from 19. He got a piece of it. Big rebound on a night where they haven't exactly controlled the glass. Down low. And Embiid gets the double team. And it's going to be a three-second call. New York has got just one of six threes to go in the fourth. Defended by Griffin. And he drives in. And it's blocked by Embiid. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those are the plays that get you a lead and keep you a lead as well. White side, the pass to White. Clock at six. From outside, off the mark. Milwaukee in the lead. Now here's Simmons. And the shot falls short that time. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. It's good. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Hero outside. Back to Simmons. To the wing, right side. Embiid inside. White side on him. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go from the wing. And the ball out of play. The Knicks will have it. A minute 37 left to play in the fourth. Defended by Griffin. Offensive rebound. And he lobs it up, and it's slammed in by Whiteside. Well, Whiteside beats everybody to the ball, but then maybe the wingspan helps out. Seven foot seven, reach over the top, snatch it. Pass to Embiid. The fadeaway. And that one's long. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. High post right side. Here's Bowen. He's guarded by Hero. From deep three-point range, Ben Simmons grabs the board. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups. So maybe just a step too far. Wiggins, he's checked in for New York. Richardson's checked in for the Bucks. Simmons with it. Now guarded by White. And now we've got an intentional foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough on the miss. And he's able to hit the second one. And that puts him up five. New York calls timeout. They're trailing by five. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? Higgins.
there's 37 seconds left in the game. And the Knicks miss again. And that's an intentional foul. So the first one drops. And that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a seven-point game. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead. Now a timeout called by New York. They trail by seven. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Frazier. Simmons defending. Fires for three. Cash! And now they trail by just four. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. He gets the first, and that puts him up five. And so he drops them both, and it's a six-point ball game. There's 21 seconds left in the game. And not a moment to lose on this possession. Time is not on their side right now. They're aware. Just showing some tremendous authority controlling the boards. Love it. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that makes it a seven-point lead. To the left side wing. Here's Bowen. Offline with a three. Now Richardson. So we see the Bucks get the win here. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. This day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here in the start of a new season. I'm Kevin Harlan with Doris Burke, Greg Anthony, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Also on our show tonight, former first overall pick in the WNBA draft, Candace Parker. Candace, great to have you. It's great to be here at this table. I'm so excited you didn't say what year I was drafted in. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a seasoned vet for sure in the basketball world. <laughs> well, we've got two Hall of Famers here, Candace and Doris Burke. David Aldridge would be our third. We got the Triple Crown. It's great to have you. Thank you so much for allowing me to join this crew. Uh, man, I learned so much listening to you guys as a fan. And for Miami, Thomas is out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Irving. Then there's Antoine Jameson. And it's Fournier in at the three, the small forward. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot at that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul goes against Toronto. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Raptors. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. Yeah, and one more stat that jumps out is their steal total. They have wreaked havoc on the defensive end. And the Raptors making a change here. Green's checked in. Heat also with the sub. Rosinkas is checked in. Here's Davis. It's hauled in by Thomas. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Rosinkas passes to Clarkson. Second chance effort. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. The first free throw is good. That one misses. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. Davis surveying the floor. Down low. Here's Shaq. It doesn't go for him. Nice D from Porzingis. And here's Clarkson. To take the lead. They get the rebound. Irving. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. J.J. Reddick's checked in for the Raptors. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. And guys, it's crazy. He, he really was a late bloomer. You know, Irving didn't have the big-time amateur career you hear about with some stars. 
but boy, he's more than made up for it. Davis against Irving. The pass to O'Neal. And the dunk by O'Neal. O'Neal is a force of nature. Once he gets it that low, it is a foregone conclusion. Clarkson against Van Vliet. And it's Davis with the ball for the Raptors. Three-point lead. O'Neal a screen on Thomas. That one goes in. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. To the inside. Here's Jamison. And the slam dunk by Jamison. Really good execution by Jordan Clarkson. As a coach, you're always looking to maximize your team's consistency. That's good offense. Green with a screen on Thomas. Here's Davis. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Davis has got nine points here in the second half. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Now a timeout called by Miami. Shaq is really having a good game here. Go to work. And hit boy has the big fella delivered. He has just killed them down low. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolster address the team. He said, this is where we make our move. This game's going to come down to big plays. Whichever team makes them is going to come out of here with the win. Kevin, we know what side he's on. Thank you, David. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Thomas against Davis. Here's O'Neal. Porzingis with the block. You know, when you drive the lane, you have to know where Porzingis is because with his reach, he can sneak up and send that shot away any time. Van Vliet against Jamison. Van Vliet with the bucket. And the Raptors lead by five. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Pass to Jamison. Let's it go from 14. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Green's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Green with a screen for Davis. He kicks to Red. Shoots the three. Rebound by the Heat. Jamison's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. And Davis puts it in. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Bounce pass, Thomas. Irving looking over the floor. Jamison with a screen on Van Vliet. Takes it inside. That one good for two. Well, Jordan Clarkson loves the offensive end, and he's in the flow on that drive. That's nice. Davis against Thomas. Davis kicks to Van Vliet. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. We are finding the weakness in the defense. That's the court savvy of Thomas at work. And they double up Davis. Reddick passes to O'Neal. Outside, Davis. Five on the clock for three. Van Vliet. It's hauled in by Thomas. And it's the Heat with the ball. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Money! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. 
Yeah, and Davis, all energy. Big physical point guard with that shoot first mentality. So he gets them both, and it's a four point ball game. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Eight seconds left to play in the final quarter. Outside, Jamison. Let's the three fly and the miss. I just love the fire with which Draymond Green plays defense. Of NBA basketball underway. This is Brian Anderson at the table with basketball royalty. Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Ali LaForce. And with tip-off coming right up, we've got just enough to... BA ass nuggets, coach. All right, thanks, Ali. And for the Rockets, here's Johnson. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Out to the right wing. Pass to Johnson. We've got 123 left in the fourth. Shot clock at six. Out of bounds. Rockets ball as Houston keeps possession. One fourteen left in the fourth quarter. Miller can't get it to go. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. On the court for Denver. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Rockets. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. Looney grabs a miss. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Hollis Jefferson with it. Davis on him. And another miss by Houston. Wide open look. And so Houston takes this one. A one to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports. As we get, we are nearly ready. Kevin, thanks. Oh, you know what? I love that work ethic. Thanks, DA. We're on a super team of sorts. Compare that to the super teams they are forming now in the NBA. Oh, we've always had super teams. And this misnomer that this is something that's just come about with this year is, to me, absurd. You've always had it. Whether the difference nowadays is, I think the players have more say in where they go, uh, and they can orchestrate how a team is constructed. But it's always existed, and the reality is this: you become a super team when you win a lot. Sure, and, and that's what really dictates how super your team is. And for the Timberwolves, Noah is up there with Zdrunas Ilgauskas. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Brandon Roy. And it's Murray in at the five. And for Portland, we've got Shrimp. Ellis is out there with Nash. Then it's Robinson. And it's Nance in at the three, the small forward. Weber, he's checked in for Noah. Siakam is checked in for Portland. Smith comes in for Monte Ellis. Clock is at three. Nash. Hits the front of the rim and out. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Here's Weber. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Siakam. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Nash kicks to Robinson. Rebound Minnesota. 
Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Here's Roy, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight, and it's helped him grab the lead. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Timberwolves. All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of space out there. But also, they put the offense on its heel. Look at the number of steals they've been able to get. And that's something they also can take great pride in. Here now is Weber. Outside Leonard. Ilgowskis is screen on names. Here's Leonard. Portland grabs the miss. Smith's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. It's tipped. Yeah, and Ilgowskis stretching out there to block shots. Superb at using that huge wingspan to come up with rejection. On defense, Minnesota, 13-point lead. Defensively, though, they've much improved here in the second half. They've limited the open looks, making them work for everything. Murray surveying the D. There's the pass to Leonard. Over Nance. Here's Ogoskis. It's rebounded by David Robinson. Trailblazers trail by 13. Nash with it. Pass to Robinson. With the teardrop, he can't get that one to fall. And Minnesota will come the other way. And here is Murray. Passes it to Weber. Over Siakam. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Weber's got 23. And that mid-range J of uh, Weber, fantastic at scoring from that area of the floor. Pass to Nash. Robinson against Dogaus. Robinson goes in, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And he makes the first. Yeah, and Robinson is a franchise-defining talent, a, a chisel Powerful center, a remarkable leader. They burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. The pass to Murray. It's not going to go for him. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Out of bounds, Minnesota takes possession. Yeah, with no defensive pressure at all, you've got to be able to make that mistake. It's taken away by Smith. Rebound by Murray. Give it up for the D. No fear. You risk getting posterized. You know what, though? You still take it. Ogowskis is screen on that. Leonard attacking. And he banks in the layup. And the Timberwolves lead by 15. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. He was the alpha dog out there tonight. Totally in charge of this game. No matter what the situation was, he was the one to dictate the action. Diaw the pass to Willis. Portland moving the ball around. There's a screen by Willis. Here's Harper. And the shot is good. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Minnesota shoot here in the fourth quarter around 41%. Alexander Walker passes to Augustus. Here's Alexander Walker. It's rebounded by Boris Dia. Now here's Barton. He takes it in. Diaw inside the three-point line. And no good, his first shot of the night, missing. Now, Garland.
And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. Some good competition. Larry Bird could, could be a potential MVP candidate, to be honest with you. But let's see how AD does. He probably has a good uh, piece, as I can't remember. take it away. Brian Al Horford is a Yes, he does. Yeah, Al Horford and this team. Oh, wow, look at this turnaround. 13 point okay, game so with two and a half minutes Lakers. left. Yeah, this is way too different, huh? Oh boy. Wow. Grizzlies, huh? Making me regret what I said Lakers being the best team in the league. Wow. Davis with it. Maybe AD doing work right now. Wow. 13 point game. Who did the Lakers destroy in the first game? Orlando, yeah. They won by almost 30 points back in week one. But yeah, it's a different story in their, in their second game of the season. And here's the Grizzlies. Six on the shot clock. Pop it, baby. No. Couldn't quite line that one up. Yeah. Gotta shake it off and rough, move man. On to the next one. That's rough. Step back. Elgin Baylor, though. Oh, on the, what a floater. Elgin Baylor, Grizzlies legend. <laughs> man, Larry Bird, though. Boy, they need I hype him up to too much. Confidence. No question. Way too many empty it's not looking good now for the Lakers. Goes up on the baseline. Misses off the left wow. And Lamelo ball. Oh Davis damn. Gone two of four from the perimeter here in the yeah. fourth quarter. Wow. Outside Davis. Pretty uh, from downtown. Pretty good turnaround, huh? Back. Here's Harold. Oh, wow, teammate, Laker teammate, right there. All right, Memphis. Memphis could pose some threat. Okay. Even when they're this far up, they don't beat LA leave. chant. No they got Aaron Gordon too. Wow. This is a pretty right big way. ass uh, front court lineup. They have all the muscle in there. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Oh man, come on, Larry Bird. You don't. You should not be doing that shit. Defense is being played. You think that's the new normal for Who's number 24? So, Bradley, I don't know this guy. Had a lot of I would playoffs. suggest putting Campbell Walker if uh, Chauncey Billups is not doing his job, is man. one of them defensively. You just don't want to become too predictable. And the yeah, solid, going with a solid effort. Here. I'm surprised Carol. that Memphis snagged this win. From deep. Oh my gosh, no rebound. <laughs> long rebound, resetting the shot clock. No rebound. To the left wing. Oh yeah, Gary Trent Jr. too. Okay. Alright, Memphis. Memphis has some good starting five under uh, Arsenal. A bit long that time. That's pretty neat. He committed to fading away. Probably could have taken more. Man, Lakers though, I thought they could go undefeated. <laughs> but you know, shit happens. We've got 33 Solid win from Memphis though. Four. This is their first game. This is Lakers' second game. They set a pick. And All he's right. fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Forcing the action, going to the line. Now Dragic wins these battles with this hustle. And he can't get the first one. A rare bad trade by the San Antonio Spurs. Dragic was their second round pick in 2008. They traded his rights to the Suns for a player who didn't even make the roster. Wow, I didn't know that. That would have been a good replacement for... Uh, well, Tony Park Parker is still good in 2008. So. But Goran Dragic uh, was a good backup for Steve Nash back in Phoenix. So, yeah. That's a pretty rare uh, misfortune by uh, the Spurs. But yeah, good win by the Grizzlies. Pretty good win. And so Memphis takes this one. Us. NBA action is coming up. GA, it's all yours. Hey, Kevin. Thank you, David. Oh, I'm excited for this one. John Morant versus John Morant and Allen Iverson. Wow. Will be. On paper, will they win this backcourt matchup. Offense being run through the low post. The wow, I told you. I mean, We've seen them make the extra I mean, if Shaq is playing a traditional center, he should be all right. And sending shots back. Nine, yeah, like, they got a 19-point lead here. Make it 20. 
Toronto first team that goes to all? Am I right? All right. We didn't get to see them in action, but you know, Raptors are doing great. 2-0 to start the season. And he plays it perfectly. He can go a little hot and cold for stretches, but he doesn't let it affect him. Dinwiddie's always going to provide that offensive punch that's so critical for you. Yeah. Reggie Jackson out there with Bialis. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's yeah, Denver that's pretty good. Five. Like um, that's the five in the game for Toronto. Like Shaq is definitely more efficient if he's guiding a, a true traditional center in quotes, of course. Here's Jackson. Reggie Jackson though doesn't give a fuck. Oh, there you go. Eyes again. With the yeah, he's, there, there's the first 2-0 team with a 2-0 with a record. Solid win by the by the Toronto Raptors. We haven't seen uh, we haven't seen the other East teams. All right, solid win by the Raptors. That's pretty neat. This one is much better than their last one. The last game was a bit closer. And so Toronto takes this one. Friday night, everyone. Time to kick off the weekend with the end. And we have a minute to catch up with our reporters. What do you have for us, Allie? Last season, the G League tried to... It surely is. Thanks, Allie. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings... Wow, they're already like. showing this shit? <laughs> the Bucks. In second now, but okay. wanting to claim that top Yes, team. Toronto is the first team to win all. They Brooklyn too, we haven't seen them play it again. For the outcome of this They're focused but I mean, this should be easy for them, right? A massive amount of confidence. Clippers? Tremendous that should be easy for them. They really, don't, they really didn't play well against... Uh, who did they play? Last time. I can't remember. So, no, man. Who would you 11 point lead with 2 minutes, but I mean... Clippers still ass. Again, I, mean, I assume right. James, his I'm right, they're ass. Wow, Roy Hibbert though against Joel Embiid. Free. Oh, did he just... Okay. Well, they got Clay Thompson though. You better start shooting shit. Generation, you see some players emerge and you better start shooting well. shit, Clay. You should not be in there. It should be in a three-point line. Oh man. Booker, uh, yeah. No, I'm not answering your My assessment of this Clippers team, I'm kind of right. They're kind of ass. I don't care if you have the logo. Like you're not winning against a team that has a good front court. <laughs> yeah, Milwaukee is a threat in the East. I, I would like to see him play uh, Toronto. MB versus shot. We haven't seen Brooklyn yet since uh, the very first game of the first week. So I'm kind of interested on that. They got MJ though. So he doesn't need players, right? Oh man, I didn't even realize that they have OJ and Anobi in this team. Yeah, this Milwaukee is stacked. Look at that. No defense. <laughs> Come on, RV, that's a bonus. And they were really able to wow. find the mismatches well, they no won. close game yet in the second day. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Bucks. They made a point to get some good looks. Yes, they were able to pound the ball inside. I love it. Sabonis finds Ingram. Five to shoot. Not looking good for for the Clippers, man. That shot will continue to be the inferior the team way. in LA. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. On the attack. Oh, there you go. Wow. No resistance. Yes. Showing us that the Bucks will take this one. Right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Here he goes. Oh, and there's the whistle on the yeah. shot. So two free yeah, throws. Yeah, nothing much to say up. here. Well, Walker's going to be an exciting team for this B. ultimate fantasy nice season. Job on the drive from B.I. Just finding an angle. And yep. Getting the See, you got Jared Dudley. You got Jakub Pertl. Bobby Jackson. Damn. Both free throws good from Ingram. That's not a very complimentary team, but you know. There's 10 seconds Oh, yeah, Grayson Allen. Who's here? this guy? I don't know who this guy is. No, I see a little. Well, their bench is kind of deep. All right, Bucks with a quick work on the Clippers. Another blowout loss for the Clips. This is their fourth game. We try to get into uh, to the 500 record. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east. Already we are in December. Yeah, yeah well, I don't want I don't want to even see this shit. <laughs> Things are still early, so they still may have a chance. 
and see it's early, man. Are. We got it's 35 games, bro. About how this year Ooh, Chris Paul versus different. Tony Parker. Wow, this NBA is like LeBron's first convincing win. What's the value I must say. Fans getting and he's playing like the last few minutes of every game so far. As opposed to tape delayed. Wow, Cavalier is really not impressive right now. <laughs> it's like... You got Wilt, man. That you got Chris Paul. I, I, as far as I remember, I, remember, I did hype this team when I was looking at the roster. But, man, <laughs> pretty unfortunate. It's not really going to uh, what I expected. I mean, yeah, they don't have a scorer, are they? they? Yeah, they don't have a scorer. That's what they're going to struggle with. I mean, Wilt's not going to score 100 points in this era. <laughs> so, you know. So I can only imagine when you have a personal best of interest. Yeah, this is an impressive win. That's LeBron, LeBron finally uh, finding his stride with his fantasy team. I feel like so. There you go. He got yeah, he got some good efficient scoring from Tony Parker, as you can see in the bottom. Yeah, Cavaliers lost to like 30 points against OKC. For Sacramento. All as right. As it gets. Which team we haven't no. seen yet? Cincinnati, Montreal. Uh, what else? Oh, Virginia. Those are the last three teams that we haven't seen yet in terms of the expansion teams. Uh, which team we haven't seen yet, man? Chicago, we haven't seen yet. Yes, two and two. Nice performances tonight. It definitely ended up being a solid outing for LeBron. LeBron, yeah, LeBron tried to shake off that really rusty start against MJ. He let MJ score 40 points. We haven't seen MJ since. He's, he's still in his cave. I don't think they have a game this week, so you gotta wait for the next one. There you go. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sport. Hey, Ali. He coached Eric Spol. Yes, good point. Man, Julius Irvin looking well, fire in this uh, in this jersey. Match up at center. This ought to be a treat. Center. What exactly is that? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's see. If, oh man, Miami's down seven though. Are they going to be going zero and two? That's Wall that's not good, man. Hardaway. Then there's Bradley Beal. Nice then defense though. And it's Let's see. In at the power forward. Oh boy. There's Miller. Pass to Thomas. Oh, he can pop Let's that three, baby. Three. There you go. Four point game. Wow, wow. Miami's keeping these games close. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Oh, no Giannis on the floor. No Giannis. Taking a rest, but they got Bradley Bill on the floor. John Wall? Oh my gosh, I forgot about him. He's on this team. <laughs> oh, this team. This team should uh, should be uh, the same level as the Bucks. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, Miami though, looking like straight booty. They look like straight booty right now. At this point in the game, fourth quarter, it's always important to stay focused. Making a switch. Yeah, probably up there with the Bucks. We haven't seen Charlotte still, man. I'm hyped for that big three that they have down there. Defended by Hardaway. Oh no. Wow, this might be this might be it, boys. Miami will go 0 and 2. That sucks. To the inside. BJ Brown though. It's Bridges on the wing. Back to Brown. Beal outside. This is a kind of cool floor for Miami and a jersey. I kind of like it. Grand Theft Autos vibes? Okay. You gotta stop there. That's good. Miami trailing. But who's your closer in this Miami team? Julius Irving? Christoph Persingas, maybe? Fourth quarter. On the wing, Clarkson. Pass to Thomas. Yeah, who's your closer? Oh my gosh. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. Wow. Yeah, he's played the game all right. He's been a piece of the puzzle tonight. But it's a team effort. Everyone's contributing to this lead. Here's Thomas, defended by Hardaway. Thomas. Nice. Okay, maybe it's Isaiah Thomas is your closer. Yeah, he's he's leading the team scoring. him decide whether to shoot it. Twenty-three points. He's your catalyst right now. Bradley Beal? Oh, why would you foul? Five thousand Julius Irving. That's bad. This should be this should be cash money. Oh, I jinxed it. 
focus now for the second. Bro, you have Ooh, to make this though. Switch here. There you go. Checked in, and he ends up making the second. All right, all right. Close game. And the heat shooting a terrific. This is still doable though. So During Simcast, the Heat were down at least 20 points. Here's Thomas. Oh yeah, yep, I say Thomas goes. is a closer. He's got Confirm. In a tight one same situation. Have to trust in his um, same situation as the Toronto Raptors game earlier. Now here's Beal. So yeah, He's let's see if Clark. Miami could at least make it uh, a closeout, uh, make it a little bit close compared to the Raptors game. If you missed this, Fire. oh, that's the dagger. <laughs> this has been Jay Crowder for a while. with the dagger. Miami going 0 and 2. Then two so pack it up. Isaiah Thomas, Thomas with a good effort. We're seeing this kind of quiet in this in this uh, jump in play. Can't hit that one. And the Didn't see him much. The they should seal the deal. I it's think the Heat the gave up, and he's gonna close this one out too. <laughs> it's the Bulls from deep. Yep. Uh, close out. Nothing to change. That's the last game of the week. The Miami just Not shows some shiver of hope. Focused, yeah, Thomas is your go-to guy. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's really good to see Chris Stapp's inside forcing the issue. We know his outside abilities, but he can wow. also bang down yep. low. Yeah, Miami. And he does get the second. Uh, looking like uh, in the Clippers uh, side of things. Straight booty too? 27 seconds Are they straight booty the as well? Quarter. I mean, that's 0-2, man. And here's Davis. Calling 0-2 teams booty. Yeah. All right, we got some two decent games in this week. That, that oh, included Miami. On his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. But I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of the promise. They're not really getting blown up by 30 points like the Clippers. The first of two, no good. So it should be all right. And he's good on the second. He might not have made them all, but he made enough to put this one out of reach. Yes. All right, Miami. Done with it. Is now on two. First look at the Bulls. Pretty neat. Now we got to see Bridges. well we didn't get to see Giannis. Missed it. But you know. So it's the Bulls winning this one easily. Exceptional effort on the road. They were yep, that closes out week two. Focused. Focused indeed. Chicago I mean, it takes showing up on the board. Miami. Oh and two to These end this week. Up 100 percent So now we'll now see how they fare in the next Allie few weeks. Force. She's courtside. Hey Ali. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. All right, so we'll be up, on the next week so of Hill, this ultimate LaForce, NBA fantasy I'm season. Thanking everyone for watching so we'll see you there. Game. So long, everybody.